I yarn out the status menu, these, there's some things in here that you're going to want to definitely know. Battery status, 76%. Battery status, it tells you how much battery you have left. Unlike computers, if I press Shift Caps Lock B on my laptop. 41% remaining charging. 40% remaining charging. It doesn't actually tell you, if I unplug it, it would actually tell me how many minutes I had. The Braille Plus only tells you the percentage. And it does tell you charging if it's charging. No more appointments for the rest of the day. In the status menu, there's also an item called No More Appointments for the Rest of the Day. This item would tell me, um, I did have an appointment in here, but I took it out. Um, it tells you what appointment it is and what time it occurs. Wireless off. I downloaded it. It said wireless off because my wireless, wireless internet is not on. If my wireless internet would have been on, it would have said wireless on, connect to the network name and the signal strength. I down there one more time. Software version 1.06, build 21. And it tells me the software version. If you're contacting technical support, they're going to ask for that. And that's where you can look to find out what software version. I'll press cancel to get to the applications menu. Applications menu. And now I'm going to connect my Braille Plus to my computer. I have this adapter cable that we've talked about in the last video. I'll squeeze Space. the edges and plug it in. And now I'm going to get my cable to connect it to the computer. And I'll plug this the smaller end of the cord into the smaller USB port. And I've always had a little trouble getting this in here. Um, the other USB devices aren't this hard to get in, but this one is just tough to get in. And there's embossed logos on both sides, so you can't actually tell which side goes up. There we go. The rougher, the rough side goes up for the, the rough logo. And I'll plug the other end into the USB port on my computer. Charging. And you heard charging. And something to note, when you have it hooked up through USB to charge, it's a very slow charging. My battery was totally dead one day. I plugged it in and I let it charge for about an hour and I've only got to 7% of battery. If I would have had it through AC power, it would have got to 75% probably. Um, my PC d doesn't acknowledge that there's any hardware connected though because the Braille Plus isn't actually in disk drive mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the Icon and Braille Plus Synchronize program. I am not going to install it for a Mastidi, but you can. If you have an older icon or a Braille Plus, you are going to have the older version of the Sync program. I actually had that on here last summer when I got it, and then I heard about the new version of the software. So I went to aph.org slash tech and found the download link for this file, which is the newer version of the software, which I believe is version 1.1, and it works better with version 1.6 of the software on the Braille Plus. And if I press P for P, I'm on the Windows desktop and JAWS is running by the way. I can press P for PDA setup.exe. And it says PDA setup.exe. Um, I can press enter. And the installation, the first part of the installation, press control to the speech. The first part of the installation is different because you have to have the security warnings because it's been downloaded off the internet. Um, if you had this on the CD, the installation program would just come up. I've read this before. It just says, do you want to run the software name, icon, and Braille plus sync, um, and the copyright and all this stuff. I'll tab. Tells me who the publisher is, and, there, and there's a link, you notice, so you pull up their website. Tab, run button. And I'll press space bar on run. Space. Folder view list view. Set up time. Thirty four thirty four. Set up time. Off. Visit stalls icon and real plus sync. A program that synchronizes data between the mobile manager and your PC. Do you wish to continue? Yes, button. And you heard what it does, what it's called, and then it says, "Do you wish to continue?" The button that's already selected is yes. I can verify this by pressing insert up arrow to read the current line. Yes, button. I'll press enter now. Enter. And it's going to. Unzipping star. Unzipping star. Unzipping star with real plus. 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 Unzipping star
read this dialog box by pressing insert plus B. Actually, there was a dialog and then it changed. And there's just all these buttons. I don't want any of these. I want to install. And now it's bringing up the installation. And it says, set up icon of plus sync dialog, next button, I'll press enter. Um, if I let it read this dialog box, it would just say welcome to the setup. Enter to continue, click next, if you would like to select a different folder, click browse, edit, see program, files, mobile manager, icon of plus sync. And that's the folder, the, the default folder that it's going to go ahead and install in. And I'll let it do that. So I'll press enter on next. Enter. And I wait. Install button. And now there's an install button. I'll press enter again to install. Enter. Cancel button. And now we wait to install. Why is working? And I think it's working. Press alt tab. Set up alt tab. Icon alt tab. With zip self extract alt tab. Recycle bin alt tab. Jaws alt tab. Set up. Um. Alt set up. Alt tab. It's basically gone. Alt set up. Alt tab. Alt tab. Set up. Alt tab. Icon real plus one point zero point install button. Tab documentation button. And we're back at the screen. So it's installed. Tab plus new button. Tab exit button. Exit. Enter. And go down to um, minimize all windows, I'll press Windows M, and I'll press I. Icon of Rail Plus Sync is now an icon. I'll press Enter to launch the program. Some of this is a little different. So you'll notice that it'll be different if you've been using the older version of software. Is It's now called Icon of Rail Plus Sync instead of Icon of Rail Plus Synchronize. And, and now it opens the program. Now there's only four controls in here. I'll, you can tab through these, but you can also arrow since there's no text. Synchronize start button. Synchronize planner checkbox check. Synchronize planner will sync your Microsoft Outlet calendar with the planner on the Braille Plus, and it's checked. Synchronize contacts checkbox not checked. Synchronize contacts. I'll go ahead and check this. It'll sync any contacts you have in Microsoft Outlook with the address book on the Braille Plus. I'll press space bar to check this checkbox. Space check. Synchronize music checkbox not checked. Synchronize music. This will sync from. Music checkbox not checked. This will synchronize from your My Music folder to the music player on the Braille Plus, the music folder on the hard drive. Space check. Synchronize start button. And synchronize start button. I'll press enter. Enter. Sync program dialog. We could not find your icon of Braille Plus. Please make sure it is connected to this computer via USB into the disk drive mode. If you are. <laughs> I forgot to put okay, it in the disk drive mode. Synchronize start button. Um, I'm in the applications menu on the Braille Plus. I'm going to type 63. Six, three. It's in disk drive mode. Disk drive mode ready. And I can just hit enter. enter. I typed 63 to get into disk drive mode, by the way. And now if I... Icon the real plus in file tools tab. Now it's syncing. I'm going to go ahead and actually exit disk drive mode. Disk drive mode. Disk drive mode. Disk drive mode. Off. Click applications menu. Because I don't, I don't want to sync. Because I've just synced and there's going to be nothing to sync. Um, if you're if you have been syncing for the first time and you have a lot of stuff on your computer, it's gonna be very slow. Um, if you're not that experienced with computers, this isn't gonna make much sense to you, but the Braille Plus is a very new device. It's not even a year old yet, and it is actually using USB 1.1 and the latest version is USB 2.0, so it's gonna be a little slow sending. This is basically all I wanted to show you today. We'll be back next week, and I think we're going to do a video on the address book.